very good morning dear students i hope in the previous classes whatever we have been discussed regarding the calculation of total income you have been uh, uh, solved the problem and worked out the study material based on the problems which is given in the study material as well as by using other references i hope you understood about the computation of mainly the computation of taxable income from business okay today let us uh, discuss about how to calculate depreciation still there are many things to be discussed in order to calculate total taxable income actually uh, the thing uh, for the calculation of depreciation uh, first thing is uh, there will be a question for your examination on computation of taxable income from business or computation of total taxable income and also tax liability this may this will be for 10 or 15 marks and also the very important thing is you will have uh, uh, uh 10 for 10 or 15 marks there will be one question on depreciation so uh if uh, any information relating to the assets which have been given they may ask you to calculate the depreciation uh for 10 or 15 marks so let us discuss today about this and even you need to discuss about the deduction set off and carry forward so these two are the very important and tax liability okay so first we have discussed about the various five heads of income after considering the five heads of income uh, we in detail discuss about discussed about uh, business and profession and worked out some problems on uh, computation of taxable income from business and also the computation of total taxable income i had given an assignment question in the previous before going to depreciation capital gain is not correct because uh, for short term capital gain there is no exemption but dear students so uh, for there is a exemption under the format of computation of tax i mean uh, taxable short term uh, capital gain or uh, long term capital gain we, there is an exemption under section 54 but for uh, short term capital gain the exemption the the uh, there is a limited exemptions like uh, the exemption can be 54b 54d 54g and 54ga these four exemptions are there for the computation of short term capital gain whereas for the long term capital gain the exemption which includes 54 54b 54d 54ec 54ed 54ee 54f 54g 54ga and 54g so i will uh, just tell you before this i'll just uh, show you what are all the exemptions which are available for exemptions uh, for short term capital gain see exemption for short term capital gain and a section 54 is 54b 54d 54g and 54g if you refer any textbooks Uh, relating to this it can be a singani or some other textbooks where you can uh, get this information in pyara 71 of uh, singani textbook where you can refer uh, relating uh, in detailed uh, explanation about the exemptions which is available for uh, short term capital gain as well as for the long term capital gain now for the short term capital this is these four exemptions are available for the short term capital gain whereas exemptions for the long term capital gain under section 54 is 54 then 54 b 54 d 54 e c 54 e e 54 f 54 g 54 g a and 54 g b okay so these are the exemptions kindly refer some other textbooks for uh, 
in detail explanation about the exemption and what basis to whom this exemption is available at what at and uh, how much it is available and for what period this uh, deduction is available and what will be the lock in period to claim this exemption mm, everything in detail uh, it is available due to shortage of time uh, i cannot able to concentrate in detail on this okay whatever it is important i'm just only go through in that uh, even uh, with only uh, with only only the gist of uh, the problems even I, if i discuss also the time is not sufficient at all because to compute to cal to calculate taxable income from business and profession only it needs at least minimum of uh, uh, 15 classes if to make you thorough okay you have to work out since it is a distance education uh, we cannot able to concentrate completely on uh, solving the problems so i can only uh, able to work out even whatever i'm doing i'm uh, uh, able to give in detail insight about this okay uh, i hope uh, you understood about uh, somebody who has been asked regarding this short term capital gain exemption and the uh, exemption i have been uh, cleared if not kindly refer the textbook okay today let us concentrate on the depreciation and uh, after depreciation even uh, you have to discuss about uh, deduction set off and carry forward tax planning etc in the first two block relating to the business taxation and even we have uh, gst part as well that is goods and services tax um, uh, let me uh, co concentrate that part of uh, goods and services tax in the offline classes along with some other uh, set off and carry forward very important set off and carry forward and deductions okay Today let us uh, concentrate on this because uh, this depreciation there will be one uh, question on uh, there, there may be one question okay not uh, not that it must be a uh, having uh, the compulsorily one question so you may have uh, one question on depreciation for 10 or 15 marks okay so let us concentrate on this uh, what is depreciation you will have an idea already with depreciation in the sense we we all we we say that uh, it is a uh, I mean uh, you, you due to usage uh, usage of an asset wear and tear and of as wear and tear of an asset or reducing in the value of an asset uh, we uh, charge depreciation we say depreciation. See if you cannot able to attend offline classes, um. Uh, it is you have to manage yourself okay uh, because uh, as per UGC and also the higher authorities whatever they have given uh, we are uh, uh, providing you the details of online classes through the five session of online classes and seven session of offline classes will be there it will be conducted in uh, different centers uh, like uh, uh, in, it is there in Bangalore Ud I mean uh, Mangalore Davangere Hubli and Kalburgi in five centers we are starting offline classes uh, that is uh, uh, firstly we are starting in the Mysore center that is from 19th to 25th seven days of offline classes will be there then in other centers in other five districts uh, uh, what I specified Bangalore, Mangalore, Hubli, uh, then Damangere and Kalburgi in these five centers we are going to start the offline classes in the first or second week of uh, may and from 18th your exams are starting okay so please if you want to attend the class you have to take your time to uh, come and attend it if you need the classes okay uh, that is left to you and it is not compulsion also it is left to you if you want if, if you want some more classes you can please come and attend offline classes after this so today is the last day of your online class i hope you have enjoyed all the classes which have been conducted not only the business tax session even some other classes as well okay let me continue due to shortage of time uh, we may not able to go, uh, complete the problem okay uh, today i will uh, discuss about depreciation as we are discussing depreciation in the sense it is a diminishing in the value of an asset or decreasing in the value of an asset or usage of due, i mean uh, asset uh, due to wear and tear so all these are called as depreciation but, but to say depreciation, reducing in the value of an asset actually is not at all a correct meaning. Because, why? Because as per income tax or uh, generally depreciation amount, whatever the fund which 
the amount of depreciation which we create that is in the in the practical sense we you may say because of the usage you you are going to reduce the value of an asset but the main thing for reducing or i mean uh, calculating the depreciation or keeping the fund of depreciation is because to replace an asset in the future in order to replace an asset in future uh, because every fixed assets will be having some time limit correct so within that life span of the asset the a company has to make create some amount of fund uh, because at the time of uh, replacement the company may not have the fund with them to replace the assets so, so for that because by considering the future and contingencies the company is going to charge depreciation and keeping that amount of depreciation fund set aside it is a set aside money correct depreciation is nothing but it is a fund which is set aside for replacing an asset is called as depreciation but what on what the depreciation must be charged how much should be charged when it should be charged everything is a question here to charge a depreciation there are some conditions we cannot charge how much ever we want and charge it to the depreciation i mean uh, to the profit and loss account always the depreciation will be debited to the profit and loss account correct how much we have to charge then can we charge how much ever we need no definitely not as per the income tax act it specified a certain rates fixed rate or the speci it specified some rate of depreciation for certain for certain assets fixed assets like for land land and building there is a uh, one as one depreciation for plant and machinery one depreciation depreciation rate for furnitures and fixtures there is other depreciation rate for machinery there is a depreciation separate depreciation rate of depreciation for motor car there is a separate rate of depreciation for intangible assets there is a separate depreciation rate like this the the gown uh, the income tax one it is decided as per the income tax act of 1961 based on that we need to calculate depreciation so after calculating the depreciation whatever the amount of depreciation we get that will be charged or debited to the profit and loss account and it is allowable depreciation as well as per the income tax also but there are some conditions to be followed for, uh, for uh, to charge the depreciation what are those condition to to charge a depreciation first thing is the asset must be owned by an assessee in the sense if the asset is taken on lease or rent basis the assessee the assessee or the uh, person who has taken the asset on rent or lease basis will not be having any rights to charge a depreciation because the asset must be owned by an assessee to charge a depreciation so when the asset is uh, when owned by assessee then this asset should be can be charged next that asset must be used for business or profession the asset always must be used for a business or profession to charge a depreciation if the assets are used like household assets or any uh, assets which are uh, used for residential purpose where if it is not used for a business then that cannot be considered as a, that cannot be considered for charging a depreciation next the asset must be used during the previous year so this is very important just listen the asset must be used during the previous year in the sense if the asset which is used if it is not used during the previous year then the uh, depreciation cannot be charged say for example uh, the uh, asset which is purchased the plant was in 22 when it is purchased in march 2000 22 so when it is purchased you am i audible can anyone reply
okay right see when the asset is not put to you uh, when the asset is uh, purchased in the month of uh, march but asset is not put to use uh, during the month of march why because the asset must be installed it is not at installed due to some uh, technical reason uh, it is not installed to the uh, plant when it is not installed the machinery cannot be used during the year can you charge depreciation in that situation no if the asset is not used during the year of purchase during the year of purchase then the uh, depreciation will not be charged understood if the asset is not purchased during the relevant year in which depreciation uh, uh, depreciation is to be charged so asset must have been used during the previous year to charge a depreciation so these condition must have to be fulfilled but uh, to uh, satisfy to these conditions the asset i mean conditions the first one what i said is the assets assets must be owned by the assc and second one is assets must be used for business or profession and third one is assets should be used during the during the relevant previous year okay these three conditions must be satisfied if these three conditions are fulfilled then asset can be used i mean the depreciation can be charged so to charge a depreciation again here the as per income tax act the assets are classified as a block of assets assets are classified as what it is it has been classified as a block of asset what is called block of asset block of assets in the sense it is a group of asset group of assets having same rate of depreciation which same rate of depreciation in a simple sense so it is a group of assets falling within the same class of assets we say so group of assets falling within the same group of assets is called as a block of asset in the sense falling within the same class of assets in the sense uh, the group of asset having a same rate of depreciation having same rate of depreciation so if suppose take an example okay take an example here uh, for example building there are different uh, i mean uh, rates of depreciation will be charged for building uh suppose uh, take an example uh, the bill the rate of depreciation actually as per income tax act of 1961 the rate of depreciation i mean uh, for calculating the rate of depreciation the block of assets have been classified into 10 categories block of assets have been classified into 10 categories what are that block of assets which are classified on 10 categories first one is building there are 10 categories of block of assets first one is building building one uh, which is charged at the rate of 5% when it is charged at the rate of 5% if the building is a residential building other than hotels boarding houses boarding houses etc so if this building is uh, a residential building then residential building then this is charged at the rate of 5% and for building there is another rate of depreciation that is at the rate of 10% building is at the 
building at the rate of 10%. When this 10% will be charged? This will be charged when uh, buildings of uh, office, factory go down and which are not mainly used for residential purpose. And it, co it, it, it covers uh, hotels and uh, uh, the boarding houses which I said uh, which covers under uh, this category. Building at the rate of 10% which all for the commercial purpose. The building which is used for the commercial purpose can be said as uh, I mean charged at the rate of 10% that can be office building, factory building uh, or uh, any go down uh, or any uh, like uh, uh, what I said the boarding houses or the hotels whatever uh, the uh, uh, kind of commercial buildings which are charged at the rate of 10% and next building also charged at the rate of 40% this is a third category of block of asset so this uh, building there are two categories of building which are charged at the rate of 40% when means when the building are being constructed on temporary purpose so when there is a temporary erection like uh, which are constructed using wooden structure only for the time being which are being constructed to complete the particular project in that situation uh, when the buildings are constructed for a temporary purpose that situation it is charged at the rate of 40 percent and also when the building uh, which are acquired after uh, September 2000 first 2002 when the building are acquired uh, and uh, which are uh, installed with the plant and machinery uh, for the purpose of uh, supply of uh, any uh, water or water treatment system uh, in, in all this situation uh, this building which uh, will be charged at the rate of 40 percent see this 40 percent rate of depreciation which are charged at, uh, uh, charged when uh, there is a temporary erection and other one is when the building which are purchased after 1st September 2002 uh, uh, September 2 and uh, for the purpose of installing uh, uh, plant and machinery uh, uh, plant and machinery uh, as a part of uh, like supply of uh, water supply of water uh, projects or uh, treatment of water system and in that situation it is charged at the rate of 40 percent this is a block uh, third one that is a third category of uh, rate of depreciation then fourth category it is furnitures and fixtures so whatever the furnitures and fixtures fittings any kind of electrical fittings etc this is charged at the rate of 10 percent if in case the rate of depreciation is not given in the problem also you have to consider this in your mind to charge next is for block 5 it is plant and machinery so there are different categories of plant and machinery as well here one is depreciation charged at the rate of 15 percent when this uh, depreciation is, uh, I will tell you everything, plant and machinery at the rate of 20%, then seventh block is plant and machinery at the rate of 30%, at the rate of 30 percent then eighth is plant and machinery at the rate of 40 percent then ninth block is plant and machinery at the rate of 45 percent these are the five categories of plant and machinery all the other all other uh, tangible fixed assets other than furnitures and fixtures and building which comes under this category of under the heading of plant and machinery and this plant and machinery charged at the rate of 15 percent under which situation it is charged at the rate of 15 percent so it is charged at the rate of 15 percent 
uh, for uh, any kind of plant and machinery any kind of plant and machinery which are, which are not covered under uh, block 6 7 8 9 if it is not covered under b 6 7 8 9 category uh, then uh, this will be charged at the rate of 15 percent and also for the motor car a motor car uh, other than the uh, motor car which is used for business uh, like running on higher if that motor car if it is used for business purpose but not running on higher basis in that situation that motor car is also charged at the rate of 15 percent then category of block 6 when this block 6 category which are charged at the rate of 30 per, i mean 20 percent so like uh, uh, the plant and machinery such as uh, going ships vessels uh, which are uh, ordinarily operating on uh, inland water including speed boats all this situation which are charged the rate of 20 percent then plant and machinery which are charged at the rate of 30 percent such as uh, which includes this block which includes buses lorries uh, then uh, also taxis the motor cars uh, uh, which are acquired the motor car which are acquired on or after uh, 30 august august 2019 uh, and uh, before april 2020 then this uh, motor car which will be charged at the rate of uh, 30 percent only and any uh, semiconductor in this for any semiconductor industry if they are purchased any plant and machinery that will be charged at the rate of uh, uh, 30 percent then any molds uh, used in the rubber and plastic goods factories that is also charged at the rate of 30 percent like this uh, uh, these are the uh, uh, i mean um, plant and machinery category where uh, 30 percent of depreciation uh, will be charged i'll repeat like buses buses lorries taxis uh, which are running on higher basis then uh, plant and machinery which is used in the semiconductor industry then molds that is used in rubber and plastic goods industries and also the motor car which are purchased after uh, august 23rd 2019 and before uh, april uh, uh, 2020 before first april of 2020 then that motor car is also charged at the rate of 30 percent but when under uh, category of uh, six under ca sorry under category of five uh, the depreciation, I mean, depreciation of 15% charge for the motor car. It is for uh, the assets when it is uh, purchased on or after 1st April 1990, but before uh, uh, August, before August uh, 2019. Okay, so in that situation, it is charged at the rate of 15% under the category of plant uh, uh, and machinery of 15%, fifth block. When come to this uh, plant and machinery at the rate of 40 percent, there are various uh, plant and machinery like uh, even the books, uh, the books uh, owned by the SSE uh, uh, carrying on a pro profession or uh, books owned by the person carrying on business uh, to run the li libraries. So that is also comes under here. Then air, po air pollution control uh, equipments. Uh, then uh, computer, computer so which includes also computing, uh, computer software, then uh, aeroplanes and also the containers of the glass or the plastics uh, which are used for refilling uh, the any new commercial vehicles etc. Then plant and machinery which is used for waving processing and uh, also in the textile industry for the government sector uh, so these are all the machinery which are uh, comes under the category of 40 percent and the last category is plant and machinery which includes any motor buses motor lorries then motor taxis uh, used in the business of running them on higher so till now whatever we have discussed it is uh, not for running them on higher except the category 30 where bus and buses lorries and taxes which are running on higher where there it, it was charged at the rate of 30 percent in block 7 whereas in block 9 uh, any motor buses motor lorries and motor taxes motor taxes which are uh, used and used uh, for running the business on higher basis and acquired after august 2000 
2019 but be put to use before 1st april 2020 then that is been charged at the rate of 45% this is about plant and machinery and the last category that is the category third uh, i mean block of uh, assets that is a 10th block of uh, categories of block of asset this is relating to the intangible assets intangible assets always will be charged at the rate of 25% other than goodwill there is no depreciation is charged for the goodwill other than goodwill this for all these assets i mean for all the intangible assets like uh, uh, what uh, know how patent trademarks copyright license any franchises etc which are uh, uh, charged at the rate of 25% other than the goodwill so mainly these are the 10 categories of uh, block of assets you should understand whatever the group of assets which comes under the same rate of depreciation in the same class of assets that will be can considered as one block okay suppose uh, there is a building a building b building c all these three buildings are at the rate of 5% means that comes under the uh, category of block 1 if plant a plant b plant c which are charged at the rate of 30% these three assets are comes under uh, the next block that is the block 2 will be plant and machinery group so at the rate of 30% there is again plant uh, at the rate of 40% means 40% of the plants uh, will be categorized as one block understood so like this the assets will be classified into a uh, block of assets based on the rate of depreciation i think Uh, you understood about uh, the block of assets now let us uh, calculate one i mean uh, discuss one problem based on this and before going for discussing the problem let me give you the format for format for the computation of depreciation format for the calculation of depreciation okay okay this is the format particulars amount in rupees plus amount in rupees what is the format for particulars and amount in rupees first one is wdv that is always you should remember even this depreciation will be charged as per wdv method of depreciation only for the purpose of income tax so straight line method of depreciation is not allowed under income tax only the one second straight line method of depreciation is not charged under uh, uh, as not considered or not allowed as per income tax act okay so first one is it's visible correct written down written down value of the asset as on First April, first April for the assessment year, which is the assessment year? So we, uh, uh, what is the assessment year for your period? For your assessment period, this is two thousand twenty-three twenty-four, correct? For two thousand twenty-three. 24 format for the computation or calculation of depreciation for the assessment year 2023-24 in the sense for the previous for the uh, assessment year 2023-24 previous year is what previous year is 22-23 correct so previous year 22-23 means previous year 2223 means the opening uh, period is what the it starts from 1st april 2021 1st april 2000 2021 i'm sorry 22 23 correct 2022 first april 2022 wdv or return down value as on first april 2022 for this you need to add any purchases during the year any purchases 
during the year and if there is any purchases during the year that should be okay any purchases during the year will be added whatever the balance you will get for that you need to deduct that is less sales during the year sales during the year for this sales sales during the year must be deducted deduct sales during the year if you deduct sales during the year the balance what we get that is called as depreciable balance depreciable balance on depreciable balance we need to charge depreciation less depreciation for the year 2022-23 so we have to charge depreciation if you charge depreciation the balance what you get the balance what you get will be the closing return down value that is return down value of the asset as on April 1st 2023 the closing of 31st March 2023 will be the opening of uh, 2023 1st April correct so like this we have to calculate I mean charge uh, calculate depreciation Okay, so this is the problem. Is it not visible again? Right, okay. Let me continue further. This is the format for uh, the computation of uh, depreciation. Next, uh, let me show you the problem which we can discuss. This problem I have been shared already. Okay, so look at this problem. Okay, so here the first uh, pro the problem which is based on the depreciation. 
let us see and uh, look into the problem and one more thing I have to explain you that um, here in the conditions before charging the depreciation one second I'll show you See, while charging the uh, depreciation, the asset, I said the asset should be used during the relevant previous year, correct? If the asset is used for asset, if the asset, if the asset is used for less than 180 days, then only half of the depreciation will be charged if the asset is used in the sense if the asset is put to use in the year of purchase if the asset is put to use in the year of purchase for less than 180 days then only the half of depreciation will be charged depreciation is charged okay i'll repeat once again if suppose the asset is purchased during the year and uh, not used for the period of uh, 180 days at least for period of 180 days uh, if it is used for more than 180 days then uh, um, more than 180 days, then fifth, um, I mean, the full rate of depreciation like 50 percent, I mean, for 10 percent, for 15 percent, 40 percent, whatever based on the block of asset, we can charge the depreciation. But if the asset is not put to use for a period of uh, uh, at least 180 days, then uh, the depreciation will not be charged to the extent of full. Only 50 percent of the depreciation is charged. This is very important. You should keep in in your mind. And next thing is when there is no asset if the assets when the we, we say that the block of the assets are cease to exist cease to exist when the block of assets are ceased to exist then no depreciation is charged In the sense, uh, the, there is an amount of return down value or the depreciable balance, but there is no asset at all. When all the assets are ceased to exist, so means uh, when all the assets are sold, there is no existence of uh, asset. When there is no existence of the asset, then when you will charge, then on what you will charge a depreciation when there is no asset, correct? So when the assets are ceased to exist, then there is no depreciation then the depreciation will not be charged at all so these conditions must be keep in your mind before uh, calculating the amount of depreciation one is the asset if the asset is put to use for less than 180 days uh, uh, then half of the depreciation will be charged if the asset is uh, not existed when there is no asset means asset is not existed if the assets are ceased to exist then depreciation will not be uh, charged at all So let us work out one problem. This problem has been shared in the telegram group as well. If it is not visible now here, you can uh, open download and open in your uh, telegram group as it is been shared. Just check in your telegram. Okay. Look at here. Uh, for calculating the depreciation, they have given so many information. X Limited owns the following assets on 1st April 2021. See here, uh, the X Limited has been given the information which owns the following assets as on 1st April 2021. Which year? 
2021 it is giving okay assets actual cost in rupees return down value in rupees as on 1st april 2001 uh, then uh, depreciation is everything all the informations which are given here first one is building building a b c there are three categories of building and plant a b c d four categories of plant so based on this we have to decide what are the block of assets okay actual cost of plant a 20 lakh plant b 5 lakh plant c 2 lakh when it was purchased we don't know when it was been purchased but it was purchased earlier so when it was purchased by that time it was the cost of that asset uh, was abc was 20 lakh 5 lakh and 2 lakhs whereas they have given return down value the return down value on 1st april 2021 that is for the assessment year 2020 i mean for the financial year 2021-22 is 12 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 25 thousand and 40 thousand of abc respectively whereas the rate of depreciation is 10 percent for a 10 percent for b and 10 percent and 5 percent for c then plant a b c d are given for that actual cost of the assets are also given and return down value of all these four assets as on 1st april 2021 is given and the rate of depreciation is given rate of depreciation for a and b it is 15 percent whereas c and d it is 30 percent see here though there are only two types of assets you can understand clearly here there are only two types of asset one is building and the other one is plant but we cannot categorize only based on the type of asset we have to look into the rate of asset as well why because the assets having the same rate of depreciation will be categorized as one block correct the assets which having same rate of depreciation will be categorized as one block in the sense look at here the cost of asset is 20 lakh for plan building a and building b is 5 lakh building c is 2 lakh whereas the rate of depreciation is for building a and b is 10 percent whereas c is 5 percent so we can make these two block of i mean two this building as two blocks that is block one is at the rate of 10 percent having an asset of a and b and block c is 5 percent having uh, uh, 5 percent black c is 5 our rate of depreciation is 5 percent so block two can be building c with five percent rate of depreciation in the same way plant a b c d are there whereas here the assets rate of depreciation is uh, there are two rate of depreciation one is uh, 15 percent and the other one is uh, 30 percent One minute. okay so here uh, there are uh, two categories of plant one is plant a b and other one is plant c d 
plant a b that means same what is block of asset block of asset in the sense the group of asset the group of asset if it I uh, mean uh, falling within the same class of asset means uh, it is a block of asset in the sense it is a, a same group of I mean uh, having a group of asset having a uh, same assets which comes under the same category okay same assets having same category in the sense suppose there is a rate of furniture is a 10% and building is a 10% so the building and also furniture cannot be categorized as block one because asset building is different asset group of same asset uh, which uh, having the same rate of depreciation can be categorized okay next uh, here as we have discussed assets are been classified uh, into four categories one is building with 10 percent depreciation building i mean block one block two with building uh, they have uh, five percent depreciation block three is plant with 15 percent of depreciation and block four uh, is plant with 30 percent rate of depreciation so like this we can categorize the block of assets Further, this said, the company acquires company acquires the following assets. First one, additional depreciation is not available. Additional depreciation, there is additional depreciation. Let us discuss that further. Uh, uh, there is additional depreciation, but company acquires the following asset where there is no additional depreciation. Uh, when it has been purchased, it was purchased after 1st April 2021. Let us look into the assets what are all purchased during uh, uh, after uh, 1st April 2021. Assets building D, building E, plant E, plant F and plant G uh, are purchased. The cost of purchasing an asset has are been given. Then date of acquisition. Let's, let us look into the date of acquisition. Building D is purchased on 30th May 2021. Building D is purchased on 30th May 2021. That means for the uh, previous year 2022-23. During that period, this building D is purchased. And when it was put to use, you, it is very important that, dear students, you should remember the period of put to use. When it has been put to use is very important. Because if the asset is put to use for less than 180 days or if, there is, if the asset is not at all used during the previous year, then there is no depreciation. If it is put to use for less than 180 days, then only half of the depreciation is charged. So, for that, in that situation, then the assets are purchased purchased during the year so du during that period we have to check when this asset has been put to use so the asset has been put to use on 3rd june 2021 building d asset is purchased and put to use on 3rd june 2021 the rate of depreciation for that is 10 percent then uh, this building of 10 percent is comes under the category category of block 1 with along with block A and block C along with block A and block B and because these two building A and B are at the rate of 10 percent next come uh, come over here where our uh, building E is purchased this building E is purchased on June 10th 2021 whereas this asset has been put to use on March 7 2022 look at here dear students so this asset was purchased on June 10th 2021 whereas it has not been put to use for uh, put to use uh, uh, during uh, june 10 2021 in the uh, on the day of purchase but it was put to use later uh, in the month of march 7 2022 now you should see when the asset is put to use on march 7 2022 whether the asset has been used for more than 180 days for the period of 21 22 when the asset is purchased that 180 days concept is applicable only in the year of purchase not every year whether that asset is used or not in the next year we will charge full rate of depreciation but only in the year of purchase we should check 180 days concept this during the year of 2021 22 they have uh, not 
put to use for more than 180 days only in the month of march that is only for uh, in the month of march there is 31 days but they have been used this only for the seven days if it has been used only for the seven days in the sense 24 days only during 21 22 seven days uh, 24 days have been used means uh, during 21 22 we should not charge depreciation for full rate but in the year 2022 23 whether they have been put to use for more than 180 days or less than 180 days then this full rate of depreciation will be charged so this put to use concept i said only this is in the year of purchase okay next plant e plant e is purchase and this uh, building e building e rate of depreciation is five percent this building e comes under category of block Two, correct with along with plant C are you all understanding next plant E if you just understand this problem everything is covered here in this problem uh, means all the adjustment all the uh, uh, information relating to the depreciation everything is covered if you work out this problem so that you can understand the complete concept of depreciation other than uh, additional depreciation the normal rate of depreciation how to charge everything is covered in this one problem so plant E plant E is 5 lakh and it is purchased on August 2nd 2021 put to use on December 7th 2021 whereas the rate of depreciation is 15% see the rate of depreciation is 15% whereas it was purchased on August 1 put to use on December if it is put to use on December can you uh, calculate whether it is used for 180 days or less than 180 days December December 7 days 7th or it has been on the day of put to use is also to be considered if it is uh, put to use for uh, seven days uh, on December 7th means 25 days in December 31 days in um, Feb, I mean, ma, um, January 29 days in uh, 2022 2022 means 29 days 29 days in uh, uh, February month then 20 sorry not 29 days 28 days because it is not a leap year 21 days in uh, sorry 28 days in february and 31 days in march put together uh, only approximately 120 days of assets are been used if it is if the assets are been um, So, when this asset is not been put to use for uh, complete 180 days at, or more than 180 days, then only half of the depreciation should be charged. When the half of depreciation should be charged, if this is in the year of purchase. If only in the year of purchase, half of the depreciation is charged. Next, look at here Plant EF. Plant EF was purchased on uh, uh, March 10th, 2022. That means... This asset was purchased in the year 2021-22, but it is put to use on December 1st in the year 2022. But look at here, dear students, as I said, the asset is purchased not in the year 2022-23, but asset was purchased in the year 21-22 itself, but it was not been put to use in that year of 2021-22. So, no depreciation was charged in no depreciation is to be charged for the year 2021-22 only but in the year 2021-22 it was put to use on december 1st 2022 means for less than 180 days only put to use in the year 22-23 but you should remember this put to use of 180 days will be charged only in the year of purchase if it is not put to use in the year of purchase then from the next assessment year or from the 
next previous year put to use concept is not applicable means full rate of depreciation is charged to be charged from the next year onwards next is plan g plan g when it is purchased plan g was purchased in may 9th 2022 and it was put to use on th november 2022 and the rate of depreciation is 30 percent so then also you should check when the asset was purchased in the year 2022 means 2000 it is purchased in the year 2022-23 your assessment year correct so in this assessment year it was been purchased but then put to use on november 1st 2022 when the assets are put to use from november 2022 also it is not for 180 days you can calculate november month in november 30 days December 31 days, uh, January 31 days, February 28 days, then uh, uh, March 31 days. How much it is? I'll repeat again. November 30 days, December 31 days, January 31 days, uh, February 28 days and March 31 days. Put totally 151 days. Correct. 151 days only used but not uh, 180 days so only half of the depreciation will be charged for plan g this is about uh, acquisition further they said the company sells the following assets company sells the following assets after april 1st 2021 so the com company sells the following assets after april 1st 2021 During the year, there is a sale of building A. The date of sale is on May 10th, 2021. That means for the year 2000, in the year 2021-22, building A is sold. In the year 2021-22, again on May 15th, plant B is sold. In the year 2021-22, again on December 19th, plant D is sold. Whereas in the year 2022-23, on December 9th, plant C is sold. So with relating to this information, we need to compute WDV, that is return on value and the amount of depreciation for the assessment year 2022-23 and 23-24. Look at here, dear students, they are asked us to do calculate return on value and the amount of depreciation for the two assessment period so if it has been asked to calculate depreciation for two assessment year then we should calculate for two assessment year only let us work out problem okay so I will uh, stop screen sharing this screen and I'll move to the next screen or let me do one thing where I will copy this problem in that concept only See, many students are, uh, to, though today is Sunday, you could able to join the classes, thinking that it is recorded classes. Many students, though they are online in the Telegram group, are not joining the classes. Even after sending message also to join the class, they are in, in online. More than 50 students are in online in both the January and July cycle, but they are not joining the class. 
it is very important correct us like how it is sunday is important for you in the same manner even it is important for us also for our family personal life but still we are taking just because of you so you should at least during the holiday during working days uh, you will be busy and you could are not able to join but during working days you were all actively participated but not today inform your friends to join it fast okay because i'm uh, starting the problem now okay let us work out this problem uh, let let me write the heading that is calculation of calculation of depreciation calculation of depreciation okay so before calculation of calculation of uh depreciation before uh, going for the computation of uh, depreciation so let us write the block what are all the uh, blocks of uh, depreciation and also the uh, block of assets okay let us uh, find out the block of assets first so here we are calculating the depreciation of x limited and also they have asked us to calculate wdv correct so calculation of return down value return down value and the amount of depreciation of x limited so let us look into the block of assets first okay so the block of assets uh as we know there are uh, four block of assets correct block 1 is block 1 block 1 is consisting of building block 1 is consisting of building uh what are the build, build under build building what are the assets are there one is building a and building uh, b building a and building b depreciation is 10% correct yes rate of depreciation is 10% and block 2 block 2 is also building asset is c and rate is 5% whereas block next block is block 3 block 3 is plant and the asset is plant a and b with 15% a and b with 15% then block 4 block 4 is plant plant c and d with 30% am i correct yes block c and d with 30% so these are the four blocks of assets for these four block of assets we need to calculate depreciation so first one is computation of okay we have written that in the uh, main heading itself let us take that first computation of uh, return down value and depreciation of x limited for block one block one block one consists of which building building a and building b with what is the rate of depreciation 10% now let us let us go into the format first one is particulars second one is amount in rupees second na last column is also amount in rupees okay which is the first item the first item to be taken is return down value
written down value of asset or of building written down value of building a and b building a and b as on first april 2022 is it but here they have asked us to calculate for the year 2022-23 assessment year and 23-24 assessment year 22-23 assessment year means building d where is building d See, building D is purchased additionally, but building D is not there in the beginning. As on uh, 1st April 2021, it was not there. Additionally, we can add it to, uh, belongs to what are all the assets purchased or uh, sold during the year. We can take in the same block, but in the beginning year, whatever all the assets which are existed will uh, has been taken to the particular block. Later, while calculating the depreciation or the WDV in the year in which uh, the assets or belongs to the particular group means that will be added. Okay. WDV of building A and B as on 1st April 2022. What is the amount of WDV as on 1st April 2022? Uh, for block, I mean assets A and B, it, for asset A and B it is 12,50,000 plus 1,25,000. How much it is? 12,50,000. Just calculate and tell me. 12,50,000 and 1,25,000 it is 13,75,000. Correct. 13,75,000. How this you got? Twelve lakh fifty thousand plus one lakh twenty five thousand. Correct. So now add purchases during the year. During the year, which year? Two thousand twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, during the year 2021-22, what are all the assets purchased? Just look into the this box. Just look into this box where if this year buildings belongs to 10% category, which under block one. Block one means building a 10% rate of depreciation. Is there any assets purchased? Building d is purchased correct so building d with 10 percent rate of depreciation is purchased when it is purchased on may 30th 2021 it is purchased 2000 may purchased 2021 means it is 21 22 when it is put to use put to use in also in the same year put to use also in the same year is it more than 180 days as yes because it is put to use on June means almost 10 months it is used. So on an average 300 days used. So when it is put to use for more than 180 days completely uh, depreciation can be charged full rate what full rate of depreciation. Okay. How much amount of uh, uh, asset was purchased? The building D is 8 lakh and rate of depreciation is 10 percent. Let us add that. As Assets purchased during the year. Purchase of purchases during the year that is building D. What is the amount? 8 lakh. Add it. And tell me the total. 13,75,000. 13,75,000 plus 8 lakh. It is 21,75,000. 21,75,000. Then less sales during the year. Sales during the year 2021-22. So just check. Whether is there any sales of 10% asset? Building A. 
look at here building a is sold when it is been sold may 10th 2001 21 uh, for 14 percent i'm sorry for 14 lakhs may 10th 2021 means it is in the year 2021 22 only so building a is sold for building a is sold <coughs> Building A is sold for 14 lakhs. So the balance what we get is called as depreciable balance. Depreciable balance. What is the depreciable balance? 21 lakh 75,000 minus 14 lakh. It is 7 lakh 75,000. 7 lakh 75,000. Seven lakh seventy-five thousand. This is the depreciable balance. Now, let's calculate depreciation. Let's depreciation. Depreciation for the year two thousand twenty-one twenty-two. So, calculate depreciation. Before calculating the depreciation, you should check the asset which is purchased during the year, whether it is put to use for more than 180 days. Building was purchased on, look at here, building was purchased on 30th May and put to use on June, means more than 180 days. You can write in the bracket in the, uh, in the purchases itself, more than 180 days, more than 180 days so that you can understand easily while calculating the depreciation here you can say all the assets which are uh, purchased during the year is put to use for more than 180 days so full rate of depreciation can be charged on the amount left into what is the rate of depreciation it is at 10 percent 10 percent means 7 lakh 75,000 10 percent means 77,500 so deduct 77,500 from this. The balance what we get is called as return down value, return down value as on 1st April 2022. But now we have to even charge depreciation for this also. Okay, so depreciation add purchases during during the year 2021-22. Is there any, what is the balance? 70, 77,500 means 6 lakh 97,500. Is there any purchases during the year? Just check. Purchase of building at 10%. See, building is purchased at the rate of 10%. It was in the year 2021-22. And other building which is purchased is at the rate of 5% depreciation. But not for this block. Correct? There is no asset at the rate of 10 In the year, there is no purchase. During the year 22 23 during the year 22-23 there is no asset it is nil so you can write it as nil so the balance is 6 lakh 97,500 and you should deduct it less sales during the year 2022-23 what is the sales during the year 2022-23 Six lakh ninety-seven thousand minus sales during the year. Is there any sales of asset? I mean, building with respect to building A, building B, and building D. Already, it is there in the block. 
whether any of these three assets are been sold building a is sold building a is sold in the year 2021 and it is been considered already correct so building a is taken into consideration no other building are been uh, is been buildings have been sold so it is nil what is the balance the balance what we get is called as depreciable balance depreciable balance calculate depreciation on this 6,97,500 calculate depreciation less depreciation what is the rate of depreciation depreciation is at the rate of 10% that is 6,97,500 into 10 percent for the year 2022 23 22 23 6 lakh 94 thousand into 10 percent this is 69 thousand seven hundred and fifty sixty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty the balance is called as written down value as on 1st April 2024 so this is for block uh, block 1 correct so we have calculated depreciation as well as return down value uh, for block 1 and for this block 1 as uh, for the for the block 1 here the assets what I mean the the depreciation what have been calculated will be charged to the profit and loss account the same asset uh, the amount of depreciation is allowable and it is charged to the profit and loss account okay next let us move into the next block i will copy the same this is block 2 block 2 building at 5 percent what are all the, bil uh, the buildings are there only building c is there correct so building c then return down value of building c as on 1st april 2022 return down value of building c return down value of building c is how much 40,000 at 5 percent depreciation 40,000 40,000 then add purchases during the year 21-22 is there any assets purchases with respect to 5% yes building E is purchased when it is been purchased building E is purchased on 3 uh, I mean purchased for 3 lakh on June 10th 2021 that means it is purchased in the year 21-22 only but put to use on when when it is put to use the asset is put to use on March March 7th 2022 that means in the year same year only they have put to use but not more than 180 days so when it is not more than 180 days we have to charge half of the depreciation 5% is the rate of depreciation so right here purchase during the year 21-22 is building E is purchased but less than but less than 180 days of depreciation 180 days of putting building E is purchased for 3 lakh. Purchased for 3 lakh. Write down here. 3 lakh. Take the total. Total is 4 lakh 30. Uh, sorry, 3 lakh 40,000. 3 lakh 40,000. 
then sales during the year is there any sales during may during the year with respect to ten uh, i mean building there is only one building is sold that is that building is uh, for the assessment year uh, 2000 i'm sorry for the block one and for block two with five percent rate of depreciation there is no other asset there is no asset sold so wdv i mean sales during the year for this is nil then depreciable balance is 3,40,000. Now you have to calculate depreciation. So let us calculate depreciation. So to calculate depreciation here, you should keep it in your mind for 3 lakh of asset which you have been purchased. 3 lakh of asset which you have been purchased. This is put to use for less than 180 days means only half of the depreciation is charged. And you can write like this also. 5% rate of the depreciation into 1 divided by 2. Half of the depreciation is charged. When it is charged for half of the depreciation. Half of the depreciation. Just calculate. 3 lakh three lakh into uh, five percent into one by two it is seven thousand five hundred and When the asset is put to use for less than 180 days, half of the depreciation is charged. But WDV of the asset was 40,000. Remaining how much? 3 lakh minus uh, 40,000 is 3 lakh 40,000. For 3 lakh 40,000, I'm sorry, uh, for uh, 40,000 now, we have to charge full rate of depreciation at 5% means it is 2,000. Take the total. What is the total? 9,500. 9500 is the depreciation which we need to uh, charge on the asset. Now calculate, deduct from the depreciable balance 340,000 minus 9500. So the depreciable balance as on 30th, uh, 1st April 2022 is 330,000, 330,500. Next, add purchases during the year. So, is there any assets of 5% building purchase during during the year 2022-23? No, there is no asset purchased. But the asset which was purchased in 2021 was put to use in 22. But there, it will not affect for the next assessment year. Put to use concept is applicable only in the year of purchase. Okay, now... There is no purchases and there is no sales. Purchases nil. So 3,30,500. Then sale is also nil. 3,30,500. Then depreciation for the year. Depreciation for the year is 3,30,500 into 10%. That is 33,050. 30,000, 3,30,000, 5% is 
is for block Got it? You understood for block uh, 2? Anyone is having doubt till now? Please reply. Anyone is having doubt? Shall I continue for block 3? Now, block 3. block 3 okay block 3 is plant and the plants are a and b correct and the rate of depreciation is 15 okay rate of depreciation is 15 percent plant a and b belongs to one block of the asset that is a and b at 5 15 percent and black c and d is 30 percent okay so block a and b 15 percent now take down the value the wdb value of plant a and b plant a and b as on 1st april 2021 so here for plant A and B, WDV value is, return down value is 35,178,000, 35,100, 35,100 plus, plus 78,000. Take the total 35,100. 35,100 plus 78,000. It is 1,13,100. 1,13,100. 1,13,100. Now add any purchases. Add. <coughs> any purchases during the year 2021-22 look at the problem plant E and F at 15% was purchased but when it is purchased just check plant E is purchased on August 2nd 2021 and put to use in the same year okay plant E is purchased on August and put to use on December if it is put to use on December it is less than 180 days correct but plant F is purchased on March uh, 2022 whereas put to use on December means it is purchased in the year 2021-22 but not not put to use in the same year but it has been put to use in the next year means we are not going to calculate depreciation from I mean for the year 2020 not in taking into consideration that if it is not put to use at all there is no depreciation if the asset is not put to use during the assessment year during the particular previous year okay so now take this plant E but not plant F because asset is not put to use during 21-22 plant E is purchased and put to use for less than 180 days plant E is purchased and put to use for less than 180 days so only half of the depreciation for this 5 lakh is to be charged amount is 5 lakh purchased during the year which plant plant E is purchased and put to use for less than less than 180 days less than 180 days what is the amount it is 5 lakh then sales during the year just check is there any sales during the year plant b is sold plant b is sold plant 
D plant B is 15% whereas plant C and D are <coughs> sorry plant C and D are uh, 50, 30% correct only plant B is belongs to block 3 so plant B when it has been sold it is sold on May 15 2021 for 1 lakh 20,000 in the sense it has been sold in the year 2021-22 correct take into consideration which was said this is the plant B. Plan B for 1,20,000. Plan B. Plan B is sold for, take the total of this, 6,13,100. And plan B is sold for, plan D sorry B is sold for one lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. You just deduct and take the balance. It is four lakh ninety four lakh ninety three thousand one hundred. So this is called as depreciable balance. Now calculate depreciation during the year 21-22. So first we have to calculate depreciation on the assets which is purchased during the year and put to use for less than 180 days. Plant E is put to use for less than 180 days. And what is the cost of the asset? 5 lakh. But what is the depreciable balance here? 4 lakh 93,100. Then will you calculate depreciation of uh, half of the depreciation on plant B purchased during the year for 5 lakh? No. Whatever the depreciable balance is there, that will be taken into consideration. Then how much you take? Will you take after deducting 1 lakh 13,000? So we do not know plant, uh, plant, we know that plant, which plant is sold? Plant B is sold during the year. But we do not know the plant A 31,500, 35,100, uh, whatever the asset is there uh, whether it includes along with 4 lakh 93,000 or what but here since the asset plant B is cost of 78,000 is sold for 1 lakh 20,000 is sold for 1 lakh uh, 20,000 so the balance of 4 lakh 93,100 existed then for that what we do we do hear that we take this uh, uh, 493000 only 493100 uh, only uh, will be calculated at the rate of 15% considering it is put to use for less than 180 days because asset which is purchased during the year will have more value complete value correct so this when the, when there is a WDV is nil, then no depreciation is charged. Even though there is a, in two categories, the depreciation will, I mean three categories, the depreciation will not be charged. One is, uh, you can say this as exception, exceptions to the amount of depreciation, exceptions to the amount of depreciation to be charged exceptions to the rule when the depreciation will be charged will not be charged first one if the asset is put to use for uh, less than 180 days then half of the depreciation is charged then when when the asset is not put to use not put to use during the previous year no depreciation no depreciation no depreciation is charged then when block of the asset cease to exist no depreciation is charged and also when the block of the uh, uh, in the sense when the return down value when the return down value or you can say when there is no depreciable balance when the depreciable balance or the return down value is zero in that situation also no depreciation is charged in 
that situation also depreciation will not be charged so in this situation in this conditions the depreciations will not depreciation will not be charged okay now here for this categories for this category the asset is existed but the depreciation is ceased to uh, decreases the asset is existed but the depreciation is ceased to existed depreciable balance depreciable balance is 4 lakh 93300 and the depreciation for this we have to calculate that is 4 lakh 93100 at the rate of 15% uh, into uh, 1 by 2 what is the uh, depreciation now depreciation for this is 4 lakh 93100 into 15% into 1 by 2 this is uh, 36983 That is six thousand six thousand nine hundred and eighty three. So thirty six thousand nine hundred and eighty three minus four lakh ninety four lakh ninety three thousand one hundred minus thirty six thousand nine eighty three is four lakh fifty six thousand one hundred and four lakh sixty three thousand sorry fifty six thousand. Four lakh fifty-six thousand one hundred and eighteen. This is uh, the return down value. Return down value as on first April two thousand twenty-two is four lakh fifty-six thousand one hundred and eighteen. Are you understanding?
sorry for the inconvenience okay here uh, we have completed i mean uh, uh, we have ca calculated the depreciation for the year 2021-22 now the, the wdv value as on 1st april 2022 is uh, 4,56,118 now add purchases during the year purchases during the year 2022-23 check whether purchases uh, during the year relating to the block 3 uh, relating to block 3 uh, let us look into this is a, is there any purchases of uh, plant any purchases of plant uh, during the year with respect to 15% rate of yeah, depreciation no with respect to the 15% rate of depreciation plant F is E is purchased but it, it was purchased in the year 2021-22 and it has been considered plant F is also purchased in the year 2021-22 but we had not considered there look at here plant F was uh, sorry plant E was purchased and it was put to use less than 180 days it has been taken into consideration but whereas plant F which is purchased in the year 2021-22 is not taken into consideration why because the asset which is purchased during the year is not hmm? asset which is purchased in the year 2021-22 is not put to use for uh, uh, put to use in the same assessment year hence uh, when the asset is not put to use in the same assessment year in the same assessment year no depreciation will be charged whereas uh, this asset which has been put to use in the year december 1st 2022 when it is put to use in the year 2000 december 1st 2022 then uh, in the means in the next relevant uh, next next uh, or uh, preceding, uh, succeeding year then full rate of depreciation will be charged and the uh, uh, concept of 180 days will not be taken into consideration in the next year only that 180 days concept is applicable only in the year of purchase let us work out this uh, i mean uh, taken into consideration for the calculation plant f of 1 lakh uh, 2 lakh 10000 plant f is purchased in the year 2021 21 22 but not put to use in the same uh, previous year we has been taken into consideration in the next previous year that is 2022-23 and the rate of depreciation is 15 percent means this comes under the category of this comes under the category of 2022-23 okay so now take this purchases during the year 2022-23 purchases during the year 2022-23 it is which plant plant year plant year and 180 days concept is not applicable for this the amount of depreciation the amount of depreciation i'm sorry amount of purchase is 2 lakh 10 thousand 2 lakh 10 thousand 4 lakh 56 thousand 118 plus 2 lakh 10 thousand is 6 lakh 6 lakh 66 thousand 118 then sales during the year is check whether is there any sales made during the year plan b is sold plan b is sold on may 15th and it is already been taken into consideration because it was for the year 2021-22 and plan c and d plan c and d is uh, uh, relating to block 4 so we cannot take that into uh, this period that is for block 3 okay so now this is uh, the return on value i mean uh, the sales during the year for this is nil the balance is 6 lakh 66118 and the depreciable balance calculate depreciation for this what is the amount of depreciation uh, entire amount will be taken into consideration 6 lakh 66 thousand 118 at the rate of 15 percent in that is depreciation amount is 99918 so balance is balance or uh, wdv as on one first april 2024 is 5 lakh 66 thousand 200 5 lakh 66,200 this is for block c i mean block 3 now let us move to the last block of the asset the last block of the asset 
is block 4 consisting of plant C and plant D and this is at the rate of 30% at the rate of 30% and now let us take the WDV as on 1st April 2022 the aggregate WDV as on 1st April 2022. So look at here plant C and D with 30% rate of depreciation is been uh, uh, the actual cost is 20,000 and 40,000 whereas the WDV as on uh, the 1st April 2021 is 7,000 and 31,000 take that 7,000 and 7,000 and 31,000 total is 38,000 at purchases during the year what are all the assets which are purchased during the year with respect to the block 4 there is one asset purchased during the year that is plant G correct the plant G worth of 90,000 is purchased during the year when it is purchased during the year May 9th 2022 and, uh, and uh, it was put to use on November 1st is it in the year 21-22 definitely not there is some lot of disturbance here. Uh, sorry for that. Th this asset. No. Uh, in the see, uh, somebody is uh, um, Dhanlakshmi is asking if the asset is used in this year also. Asset is not used is in in this year also. Will the depreciation is chargeable? In look at here, uh, uh, students. If the asset is purchased during 2022-23 and not put to use during 2022-23, then no depreciation will be charged. But in the next year, whether the asset is put to use or not. Whether they are using uh, the asset is not in the next year, we are going to charge a depreciation. But that put to use and the uh, uh, concept is applicable only in the year of purchase. In the year of purchase, if the asset is not put to use or if the asset is put to use for less than 180 days, that concept is applicable. Okay, But in the next year, not in the year of purchase, but in the next year, whether the asset is put to use or not, we are going to charge full rate of depreciation. Clear? Now, for this, uh, we were considering uh, the purchases during the year. Purchases during the year of plant G, but not in the year 2021-22, but it is in the year 2022-23 at 30%. So, purchases during 2021-22 is nil. 21-22 is nil. Total is 38,000 sales during the year 2021-22 let us look into the sales during the year look at here sales during the year there is a sale of plants d as well as plant c plant c i'm sorry plant d was sold on december 19 2021 in the sense it is sold during the year 2021-22 and what is the amount one lakh fifteen thousand a set of plan D is sold. Which one is sold? Plan D is sold for one lakh fifteen thousand and the depreciable balance. What is the depreciable balance? You will get the minus depreciable balance, but we cannot take over negative balance of depreciate depreciable balance. So depreciation is nil. When the depreciation is nil. When the depreciation is nil, then we cannot charge. We cannot charge the depreciation. One minute, hello. Hmm. Okay, so depreciation for this period is 
38,000, um, I'm sorry, the depreciation for this period is nil because there is no WDV or the depreciable balance. So in the beginning only I said when there is no depreciation, when the depreciation though there is an existence of asset. Look at here, plan C and plan D was there but there is a sale of only plan D during the year but then also the asset depreciable balance is nil though there is an existence of plan C. Plan C is existed. Plan C is there. But Adro plan D is a higher amount to get sale madiro drinda. Depreciable balance is uh, reaching to nil. So when the depreciable balance is nil, even though there is existence of plan C, we will not charge depreciation for this. Understood? So look at here the point, uh, the exception rules which I had been explained to you. That is uh, when block when the depreciable balance or the return down value is zero then no depreciation is going to be charged understood so no depreciation will be charged now depreciation is nil for the year 2021-22 then what is the wdv wdv is also nil wdv is also nil for the uh, year 2022-23 next purchases during the year is just check whether is there any purchases during the year with respect to this uh, block 4 with 30 percent rate of depreciation purchases yes plant g is purchased correct plant g is purchased and this plant g is purchased at 90 for rupees 90000 and it was purchased on may 9 2022 and put to use in november when it is put to use in november as we have been calculated uh, it was been put to use only for 151 days i hope so which was been calculated just look into it but it is less than 180 days correct when it is less than 180 days exactly we have to calculate if it is put to use exactly 180 days full rate of depreciation but less than 180 days then half rate of depreciation then more than 180 days full rate of depreciation only okay plan g is purchased during the year and put to use but less than 180 days for 90000 plant g purchases during the year 2022 23 is plant g but less than less than 180 days less than 180 days okay so when it is put to use for less than 180 days then the amount of depreciation will be half uh, this is the amount which is purchased now take the total this is 90,000 only uh, just check whether is there any sales made during the year sales during the year look at here sales during the year plant C is sold plant c is sold sold for how much sold for 32000 when it was been sold december 9 2022 means in this 22 23 plant c is sold for 32000 take this into consideration plant c is sold plant c is sold for 32000 and the balance is 90,000 minus 32,000 is 58,000. This 58,000 is the balance, depreciable balance. Then charge depreciation, depreciation at 58,000 into 15 percent into 15. Sorry, it is not 15 percent, it is 30 percent. 30 percent. Then the amount of depreciation is. 17,400 so set minus 58 58,000 minus 17,400 is 40,600 this 40,600 is the WDV as on 1st April 2024 now just look into the problem whether we have considered all the assets which are purchased and all the assets which are sold building D e is for block a has been taken building e is for block b block 2 has been taken building e and f has been taken into consideration for block 3 and building one I'm, I'm blah, sorry plant e and f is been taken for uh, block 3 and for plant g is taken into plant 
block four like same way even the assets which are been sold are also been taken into consideration everything is been adjusted and this is the wdv as on first uh, april 2024 anyone is having doubt relating to this everyone understood and for this depreciation there is one more adjustment uh, relating to this that is additional in additional depreciation plan g is less than oh sorry sorry correct plan g is less than 180 days sorry plan g is put to use for less than 180 days so 1 divided by 2 very good you have been identified than lakshmi very nice uh, okay plant see plant g was purchased on 90 purchased for rupees 90000 correct when it is purchased for rupees 90000 and put to use for 180 days less than 180 days we have to calculate half of the depreciation and charge it see 58 uh, it was purchased on 90 but since plant c was sold the balance left is only 58000 so considering there is only plant g and uh, whether even there is other assets as well we have to first charge for that set which is purchased during the year and put to use for less than 180 days that is 58000 into 30% in divide into 1 by 2 that is only 8700 we need to charge 8700 so what is the balance amount 58000 minus 8700 is 49300 correct 49000 300 this is the wdv as on 14 2024 everyone understood everyone understood is there any doubt for anyone Okay then. Uh, let me wind up before winding up of the class. Uh, there is one more adjustment relating to this, and that is also very important, and that is additional depreciation. So uh, from the uh, uh, year two thousand seven, I mean from from the I mean for the for the asset of relating to the plant and machinery, which is used for manufacturing of an asset only for the plant and machinery, not for any other asset. only for the plant and machinery there is a additional depreciation additional depreciation is going to be charged so what is this additional de depreciation so this is uh, over and above the normal depreciation so in addition to the normal depreciation extra amount of depreciation is charged on the plant and machinery on the plant and machinery the plant and machinery which plant and machinery is it for all the plant and machinery this additional depreciation is allowed no the uh, plant and machinery must be purchased during the assessment year as the plant and machinery must be purchased during the assessment year and that plant and machinery uh, plant and machinery uh, is been put to use for the purpose of uh, setting up of manufacturing units uh, uh, like uh, if any plant and machinery which are installed uh, uh, in uh, setting up of uh, the uh, any manufacturing unit etc this additional depreciation depreciation will be charged for the uh, purpose of uh, manufacturing or production of an article and acquired honor and content machinery which are used for generation or distribution of uh, power uh, that as from the assessment year 2013 and 14 and from the assessment year 2017 18 the assets the cc which are uh, the plant and machinery which are engaged in the business of transmission of uh, power in that situation 
this additional depreciation is charged so what what is the rate of additional depreciation? Additional depreciation, the rate of additional depreciation is 20%. Rate of additional depreciation is 20% of the actual cost of new plant and machinery which are acquired and installed after 31st March 2005. This additional depreciation is applicable from the year 2005 if in case if the asset is put to use for if the uh, asset if the asset is put to use for less than 180 days then half of the depreciation that is 10% of the depreciation 10% of the value of asset is charged as asset is charged as uh, depreciation And this remaining uh, remaining ten percent remaining ten uh, percent will be charged in the next year in the next assessment year. Got it. So this additional depreciation will not be charged in all the years. This additional depreciation will be charged only in the year of. Uh, uh, plant and machinery purchased in the year of plant and machinery it is purchased uh, for the for those purpose which have been explained then this additional depreciation will be charged and this is applicable this additional depreciation is applicable only for the new plant and machinery and not for any old plant and machinery okay so this I would have done a problem based on this if I would uh, get the time. So let let us let me see check whether I, I could able to do it in uh, offline classes. Okay. Now while I'm going to wind up the class, uh, you already another class has been started. I hope uh, you have been understood whatever I have done uh, so far in the online classes and in the offline classes will continue further. Uh, which is commencing from 19th till 25th you have offline classes in Mysore center but in the uh, year I mean uh, uh, if in, in the next month uh, May, we are commencing offline classes in all the other five centers okay those who are interested can come and attend in Mysore main KSOU campus thank you very much dear students all the best okay we'll see you in the offline classes see you bye